can go into the app, open windows using long press on remote key fob. New value accepted. See now I can open the windows from my key fob. Hi, I want to show you this Car Scanner Pro app which is in my opinion the best budget scan tool you can buy. App only costs $5 for a lifetime. It also has free version so you don't even have to buy the Pro. It will work with the Chivo BD2 adapter. I am using this VPIG adapter. I will put link in the description if you want to buy it. So let's connect it and I will show you what the app can do. Because sometimes it can be hard to plug it in without looking. The adapter is plugged in. Now we can look at this app. Press connect. It says the connection is successful. Now we have this menu. We have the every feature that basic code reader have. Live data, sensor data, freeze frame, trouble codes, emission tests. And also you have the dashboard which is displaying the gauges like RPM vehicle speed and all of this you have the ECU coding which allows you to make tweaks to your car you can code control units to enable extra features for your car I will show it to you later so let's check the dashboard first you can build your own page with your own layout let's try something like this for values I will choose the engine RPM and you can also select the style. OK. Now I have my custom page built. And if I press ga the gas pedal, see these values are changing with this button, which is the mirror function. It will work like head up display. Basic feature, read default codes. And this app is not as basic as the other ones because it can scan all control units. Usually, I think almost all of these apps can only scan engine control unit. This app can scan every and single one of your control units that you have in car. So I can just press this button to select all control units and press read to get default codes. Now it says 131 control units. But I have maybe 35 control units in this car. Usually the scan tool will just show. Every scan tool that I have tried only shows the control units you actually have in your car. But this shows every control unit. And it will go through all of them. So if I don't have the certain control unit, it will just move to another one. It scans pretty fast. It already scanned 30 control units. I think I won't be scanning all control units. I will maybe stop the scan after 50 control units. We don't have to go to every, every one of them. It found some trouble codes. So let's stop the scan. Now you have these trouble codes displayed. And these codes are all from the multimedia and navigation control unit. There are quite a lot of them. If you click on the code. It will automatically start the Google search, so you can find the information about the trouble code. Like this B15D0, communication malfunction. These are the possible causes, like faulty speaker, speaker harness is open or shorted, everything works fine, so there is nothing to worry about. So another thing you can do with this is erase the trouble codes. Just press this erase button. Okay. DTC clearing completed. So the trouble codes were deleted. So this is the scanning. Next we can look at the live data. Another great feature. You can choose if you want to look at single values at once or a combined graph. But the best thing about the single values, I will choose this separate. If I click here, I will choose the live data that I want to look at. I will get the engine RPM, 
but also you can watch the multiple graphs at once. Here you see these numbers, I press 2, 3, 4. Now I can have four different live data graphs at once. So let's get the, let's add the short term fuel trim. Also long term fuel trim. And MAF air flow rate. And if I turn my phone like this. I can have these four live data graphs at once. So when I press the gas, these values should start to change. See, the RPM has gone up. Also, these fuel trims are changing. When I press on the throttle, the gas is using more air. If I press it harder, it will go even higher. So you can look at all of this live data. And also another live data option is all sensors. Here you have all of your sensor displayed, like the oxygen sensor voltage. And if you press it, it will take you to the graph. Next, the freeze frame. Freeze frame will show you the set of the live data from that time when the fault code was stored in the ECU. So if I if I would find the fault code saying that my oxygen sensor is bad, the freeze frame would be all of this live data from exactly the time when the co code was stored into the control unit. But I don't have any engine code stored, so I will not see any freeze frame data. Non-continuous monitors, for example, oxygen sensor monitor bank 1, sensor 1, minimum value and maximum value. If this value was less than this minimum, or higher than this maximum, that would set the OB default code. Oh, I can see everything is in the normal. Here you have the status passed. You can also look at the emission test and check that all of your emission components are in good shape. You can measure the statistics like fuel used, distance traveled. I don't really care about this. But the one feature that I would not expect in the app like this is this coding and service, which is ECU coding. That, that means possibility to enable extra features in your car. Let's check it out. Now we have categories. And if, you, if I pick some category, let's say power windows, it will give me the coding options. For example, this open windows using long press on remote key. So what it means? If I use my remote key and try to hold the unlock button, nothing is happening. We can go into the app, open windows using long press on remote key fob. Current state, not active. Select coding option. I will put the active. New value accepted. So now it should work. Let's try it again. See, now I can open the windows from my key fob. There are, there are quite few of these options. For coding my Toyota, I also try Carista adapter, which had slightly more options. Uh, there was the option to turn the seatbelt warnings, which I don't see here. 
but you have like maybe 50 coding options and keep in mind that this is this is free up or the five dollar up if you buy the premium version and the adapter is also cheap so for this price i wouldn't expect to have something like ecu coding here if you don't have this app definitely go buy the lifetime pro version because i think the app can do this somewhere in the future the app may will become the either monthly subscription or the price will go up if you don't have any scan tool buy this if you have android you will spend like 20 dollars for the adapter and the premium app combined and for 20 dollars having the tool like this is basically a steal